of glute activation exercises with your favorite booty band is going to give you that dream booty that you want. There, I said it. With that, I welcome you to the very first episode of Debunking Fitness Myths. And today I'm going to be talking about how to build your glutes. So today I'm going to have my little um, tablet here and I'm just going to be going through all the points of how to build your glutes without all the little exercises that you see fitness influencers posting. So you actually will realize that building your glutes doesn't stop at using a little booty band before you start your leg workout and activating your glutes. Building your glutes starts with one, proper execution of movements. So you need to learn how to properly execute exercises and how to properly be engaging your glutes while performing them. First of all, if you're a beginner, you need to learn how to properly execute exercises with proper form and proper intent. Second of all, you need to understand the concept of progressive overload and intent. Progressive overload is when you are adding reps, sets, or weights um, to your exercises week after week or session after session. So this could look like, for example, I'm doing a hip thrust at 135 and I'm performing four sets of 10 to 12 reps. The next week, I either up the weight to that, so I will be doing four sets of 10 to 12 reps with, for example, something like 160 pounds, or I would be adding the reps or increasing the number of sets. Progressive overload could also look like decreasing a rest period. Now, I'm going to be talking about intent. This is another thing. So week by week, when you're going through your workouts, you should be going into the workouts with a mentality that is, I want to progress. So when you're going to be going into your workouts, it's not just going through the motions, repeating week after week what you were doing with the same amount of um, intent. So what is intent? Intent is wanting to do better. So when I'm going into my workout, I want to be doing better than the week before. I want to push myself. I'm not going through the motions. I'm not training just to take a little booty picture on Instagram. Training with intent is trying to do better week after week, session after session. That is one thing. You could be doing progressive overload and not putting any amount of force into your sets. For example, if for me 135 is a light weight and I'm like doing that for four sets of 10 to 12 reps and I'm not pushing myself and the next week I'm out here doing 160, but 160 is still super light for me. That is not progressive overload because you're not really pushing yourself to your limits every time. You're staying in that comfortable zone. Obviously, if you're a beginner, I'm not going to like recommend that you go for like really heavy weights all of a sudden, but that's it. That goes back to point number one, which is learning how to properly execute exercises. And if you don't know how, reach out to knowledgeable coaches. I'm going to be tagging my favorite coaches in the little description. And um, a lot of them also make really good content, so you could check that out. If not, don't be afraid to reach out to a trainer at your gym to learn how to properly execute those exercises so that one, you're not wasting your time, and two, you don't injure yourself. Now, let's go to point number three, which is nutrition. Nutrition is super, super important in building muscle. So. If I want to build up my glutes, which would mean add muscle to my glutes, I cannot be eating in a caloric deficit, okay? So I need to be eating enough to fuel my muscles and to put on muscle mass. I need to be eating enough protein to recover properly, okay, and build muscle. So these are all things that if you're not sure about, one, you could do your research, two, I would also recommend reaching out to a coach. So you need to make sure that your nutrition is on point. If you're um, eating like very little amounts per day and you're completely burning yourself out, you're not going to be building your glutes, okay? You're not going to be building any muscle for that matter. So in hopes of building your glutes or building any other body part, many people think that they need to train that body part every day. This is completely wrong. 
this is a problem that started with the 100 squat uh, challenges on Instagram. The 100 day uh, squat challenges where you would be doing 10 squats um, on Monday and then 20 squats on Tuesday. Moving, moving forward. First of all, squats are not like the holy grail of building glutes. Second of all, training your glutes every day is not going to give you results because you're not going to be recovering properly and so you're not going to be building muscle that being said if you are able to train your glutes every day it probably means that when you're training them you're not training hard enough you're not really putting that intent into your sets and exercises so that was it for today's episodes of debunking fitness myths now, that being said, when you see um, people posting those glute activation exercises on Instagram, they're not necessarily wrong. There's nothing wrong with warming up a muscle properly, getting blood into the muscle. There's nothing wrong with that. What is wrong is that those influencers are telling you, yes, this is the secret to building your glutes. Glute activation is the secret to building your glutes, when in fact, it is not. There's much more that goes into it and making sure that you you actually know how to engage your glutes when doing certain workouts, that is going to make a difference. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Don't be afraid to share this video with your friends and to look at the coaches I tagged in the description bar. Look at their accounts, see if you could get some useful information out of that to make sure that you get the most out of your training. Thank you for watching guys.